friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India in this video I am going to share a beautiful way to manage a cataract with floppy iris in cataract surgery we should be focused to protect not only the corneal endothelium and posterior capsule but also the iris if the iris is floppy there is a possibility to injure the iris by the chopper. Let us see how we can eliminate this possibility. In this case, by this time the incision has been made, the antechamber has been filled up with visco, two side ports are made on either side of the main wound. In this case, I haven't stained the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye. And the red glow is not good but still I can see quite well and I can do the rexis nicely so it doesn't matter much whether you have red glow or not you can do very good surgery without red glow and now hydro dissection a 27 gauge cannula and balanced salt solution is being used to do hydrodissection. At this time, I could make out that the iris is floppy. I see the pupil is getting small, and I know that this floppy iris is going to cause some problem. Now see what happens as I try to chop this nucleus. Go in, aspirate some superficial cortical lens matter and the pupil becomes small and not only that, the iris tends to prolapse through the side port. And I have decided what to do. The iris tends to prolapse through the main wound also. I inject visco and this is viscometriasis and I use a pre-chopper to divide this nucleus into four pieces. This is first pre-chop dividing the nucleus into two heminuclei and this heminucleus is chopped into two pieces and now the antechamber has become shallow so I came out inject visco and I use a Sinsky hook to rotate the nuclear mass to place the heminucleus which is to be divided into two pieces inferiorly and now to see clearly I inject visco again yes now I can see the heminucleus to be chopped clearly and I use the pre-chopper to divide this heminucleus. Yes, now the nucleus has been divided into almost equal, four equal parts. And I'm going to consume each nuclear piece single handedly. If I use the chopper, iris will tend to prolapse again and there will be constant rub on on the surface of the iris by the chopper and there will be pigment dispersion and iris chafing to avoid that to eliminate that we just don't use the chopper manage the nucleus single-handedly since the nucleus has been divided into four parts see how easily the pieces are coming to the tip Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury, flow rate is 45, ultrasonic energy is set at 60% and the nucleus is managed so nicely, single-handedly and without using the chopper. And now I removed a part of the cortex by the probe itself 
Now as I come out, the iris got incarcerated in the wound. I thought for a moment and decided not to deposit the iris. Go through the side port and remove the cortex, subincisional cortex. The iris is retracted because it is incarcerated in the main wound and I can see very clearly the subincisional cortex. And now I go through the other side port and I remove the cortex from the other side. This is a very thin 23G Simco cannula and it goes very easily through a wound of 1.8 millimeter. and the iris is deposited now. The antechamber is now filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and then a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens from Bosch and Laum is implanted in this case in the capsular bag. This lens is known as Invista. And now the visco is nicely removed. I used Simco for some time and then bimanual irrigation aspiration for removal of the viscoelastic substance. After nice cleaning of the visco, the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of these stab incisions. And now, this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is uh, nicely formed by the Simco. And the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. It will help you in trying to divide the nucleus into pieces by a pre-chopper. This pre-chopper is from Dr. Sohail Ifan Khan from Nanded, Maharashtra. Thank you once again for your attention.